Hey everybody, welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. It has been a week since I posted a grocery haul. We have finally got one. Last week we ended up not going to the grocery at all. We didn't need anything. We had the basics. So Luke and I just decided not even to go. We made it through the whole week. Um, we did pretty good. We ate out, I think one, we ate out in the middle of the week, which of course, um, the Dean Dinner video, y'all have already seen that. But all in all, we did really good not going to the grocery. Um, and so we pretty much saved like 75 to $100 because that's normally about what we spend. We spend anywhere from 75 to 100 or a little more depending on how the week goes. But we were proud of ourselves. This week is a little more. We did go to Sam's, which we don't go every week. Um, so we do have a Sam's haul added in to this um, grocery haul video as well. So first we have got Kroger right here. And at Kroger, we spent $87.02. So I don't feel like I did too bad. Um, there was some killer deals this week. If you follow me on Instagram, I try to post um, the Kroger deals um, every week whenever I see them. Um, so if you've seen those, you kind of know what deals there was. Red Baron was one of them. Um, and then like they had really good deals on their chicken and their hamburger meat. We just didn't need it, um, which sounds crazy. You know, it's good to stock up, but with us going to Sam's, we didn't really have the extra money to stock up on meat and chicken, um, pro like protein. And so we have some in the freezer, so we were good. Um, but hopefully we can catch it the next time around. So here's what we got. In the back, we have just got three Red Baron pizzas. Red Baron is our favorite brand to get a frozen pizza. Um, these were three for $8, which is a killer deal. So we always get the classic crust. We got the four cheese, and then we got two of the pepperoni. We got two things of Cool Whip. We've got a few desserts going on this week that will be upcoming videos. I found this on Markdown and at my Kroger, this is normally like six bucks. So I grabbed this, super quick and easy. And you can even freeze these. This is just in the refrigerated section, but you can throw this in the freezer, but I'm sure I'm gonna make this for dinner tonight. <laughs> but we got that. Winston asked for Cheez-Its. So we got the big Cheez-Its. He has these at school, the big ones, and he loves them. So we got those for him. Got some wheat thins. We got two things of this Parmesan cheese pasta broni. We really like these. Got some of our favorite mac and cheese that we love the craft um, cauliflower. You cannot taste the cauliflower. It just tastes like normal mac and cheese if you're wondering. And so does the, um, the bean one as well. The white bean one tastes just like macaroni. You can't taste any difference. I got one of these to try. I'm not dairy free or nothing, y'all know that, but we have this as an option um, at school, and I always smell it, when it, it just sounds weird, but it always smells good whenever we um, feed it to some of our kiddos, because we have a few kiddos that are dairy free in my class, and it always smells so good, and I'm like, I gotta get me one and try it. So this is the Silk Vanilla Almond Milk, so we're gonna give that a try and see if it is any good, as good as it smells at least, because it smells really good. We've got a dozen eggs. Luke picked up some coffee, so he just always gets the premium blend um, medium roast. He's super basic when it comes to coffee. And then he got some of this hazelnut um, coffee single, or the creamers. So his issue is like, he'll want coffee like maybe once, like literally once in a blue moon. He doesn't drink it all the time other than going to Starbucks. And so we'll buy like a thing of coffee creamer and it will go bad because he just doesn't drink coffee. And so he was like, why can't I just get these? Because these are shelf stable. And I was like, go ahead, go for it. So we got these um, to save money where he's not gonna waste a whole thing of creamer. Cause y'all know I don't drink coffee. <laughs> Um, we got some taco shells. We're going to do taco salads um, this week, but Luke, or not Luke, shoot, Winston will not eat a taco salad, so we just got those for him. These are my um, $5 stock up items this week. So, since I didn't go to the grocery last week, I went ahead and got my two stock up 
um, items. So we got for $5, I got four of the um, black pepper and then I got two of the salt. So this equaled out to $5. And then the peanut butter was two for three. So we did go over a dollar, but we divided between getting, the, they had like the big container, like the big jug of it for four ninety nine, dollars but we have a split house. <laughs> I love creamy, the boys love crunchy. So it looks like let's just spend the extra dollar and get the best of both worlds. So that's what we did. So this was $6, but we're totally fine with it. So both of, all of these will go into our um, stock up pantry room. Needed a few canned goods with us not going to the grocery. We definitely um, cleaned out. So we had like no canned goods other than corn. So we got two cans of baby carrots. We got two cans of peas and then two cans of green beans. Brownies sound good. So I picked up a brownie mix to have for this week. And I got some Jello cheesecake flavor. And then I got two of these graham cracker pie shells. And then I also picked up two of the deep dish regular um, pie shells. I would have loved to just got the regular rolled ones and did them myself, but I don't have, I only have one pie pan and I'm gonna be making two pies. So I was like, there's no point in me having one in a foil pan and then one in a glass when I just do both of them in a foil. So we got two of those. And then Luke picked up a couple things for him to have at work. He picked up this mixed berry Greek yogurt smoothie. If y'all had these, let us know if you like them. He's been like just wanting something more filling, but not like, you know, like he's wanting a snack, but he wants it to be filling. He doesn't want to be like junk. So if y'all like these or have any suggestions, um, even for your like, if your husband takes snacks and stuff to work, please let me know in the comments because he's just getting bored um, on like junk food and he wants something more, you know, like full filling and like protein or, you know, like stuff like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So um, leave me comments down below if y'all have any suggestions for men snacks. <laughs> He did get these Chips Ahoy, and then he picked up these two nut butter bars, chocolate and peanut butter, and we've never tried these. So, y'all let us know um, if you like these or if you like certain bars like this. Let us know what your favorite brand is, because like I said, he's struggling, and he's trying to think of other stuff. So, I got these um, uncooked flour tortillas, because I'm going to turn these over and cook them in the oven to make a big, like, taco shell bowl like if you would get at the Mexican restaurant. So we're gonna do that. And then of course, this is always a pantry staple, just keeping these on hand. So I got those. We got a loaf of bread. I got me some Sprite ginger. I love the Sprite ginger, it's so good if you haven't tried it. And then he got Sun Drop. We got a um, gallon of milk. They were completely out of the silk um, vanilla almond milk. Sad. So, so sad. Um, but we just got a gallon of this and we'll just worry about that next week. We got three things of frozen cauliflower. I've got a recipe for this coming week that calls for cauliflower. So I should only use two, um, but I wanted to have one for backup as just a side in general. Their cheese was on sale for $1.88 a bag. So I got Cheddar Jack. We got Pizza Blend. And then we got Mexican Style. Our cheese drawer is really good, actually. Um, so I might throw these, just throw these right in the freezer. But for $1.88, you can't pass that up because right now they have been a dollar and or two and a half or more, like almost three dollars for a bag. So I had to get it because he was like, Why are you buying cheese? We don't need cheese. I said, Because it's a dollar eighty-eight and that's a really good deal. And cheese is something that we eat all the time. Like it's almost on every meal. So I'll throw those in the freezer. Got a two pack of cream cheese. And then I picked up two zucchini. I really didn't want to make some zucchini bread. So if we don't use these as like a side dish, then I'm gonna um, shred them up and make some zucchini bread this week. We got some shredded lettuce. Of course, that's for Luke. And then we got some spinach. I like spinach. 
which sounds so weird. I can do spinach, but I can't do the texture of lettuce. Call me crazy, I know, but uh, I still wanted to um, participate in the taco salad. So I thought I can do the spinach, so I'll do the spinach, and he can do the iceberg lettuce for the taco salad. <laughs> but that is everything that we got from Kroger. Let me put this away, and then I will sit out all the Sam stuff, and then I will share that with you guys. When I opened up my freezer to put the cheese in there, I realized that I forgot to grab these out. This was also a part um, of the Kroger haul. I just picked these um, chicken breast tenders up. So these are really good. And I don't know if y'all have ever noticed that, but there is a package that has a blue label right here. And it says 100% 100% natural white meat chicken. And I've had the blue package and I've had this package. This to me tastes like a good chicken nugget. And the one with the blue um, section on it, the chicken nuggets taste disgusting. They have like these weird big like brown hunk thingies in the chicken nugget. I couldn't even, I had, th I threw the bag away. So don't even try the one with the blue label. Get the one with the yellow right here. Just don't, I'm saving y'all. Saving y'all for something, three something, however much they are in your store. <laughs> but they're nasty. Try these, they're good. Okie dokie y'all, so here is what we got from Sam's, plus the stuff that's in the garage, which I will share in a second. So we have got these Kool-Aid jammers, and these are the Halloween ones, the Ghoul Berry, a Scary Berry Ghoul Aid. I thought these were so cute. Luke said, I swear, you just like anything that looks or says Halloween. <laughs> Uh, so, I thought this would be a fun treat. So, we got those to try. Um, if you have followed me for a while, you know that I've been raving over this um, acid reducer heartburn medicine. Y'all, it's amazing. If you have pro problems with heartburn, please try this kind. I struggled for months and months. Um, like, my heartburn was so bad, I was throwing up. And so, I tried this. I hadn't tried this brand yet, or this kind. I'm not even going to try to say it. Uh, and it worked. It was amazing. Which I think Kat says she uses it. I think Taylor uses it now. Um, but it's just amazing. And so, I needed some. And normally, at Walmart, you can get one pack of the 14 tablets, which last two weeks. Because you take one a day. Um and it's like seven dollars like seven eight dollars um and so this we found this at sam's for 9.98 y'all 9.98 and it's 42 tablets i could not believe it could not believe it so we will definitely be buying this at sam's now because this is a hell excuse my language of a deal heck of a deal heck of a deal so if you or even if you do use this and you don't realize that sam's have has it try and look at your sam's they should have it you should at least be able to order online if they don't have it in store but y'all got y'all just that's such an amazing deal um we picked up some elderberry this is a really good deal as well compared to buying it at kroger um this was let's see that was $21.98, so it's a pretty penny, but I started getting, I started giving this to Winston um, a few months back, and he didn't have any problems, like, I started giving it to him right when we were going, started going back from um, Corona and all that, you know, because my work got shut down, and so I started giving it to him just to try to help, um, you know, there were things that I heard such good things about it. Um, and we actually ran out for like two weeks and I just didn't get any. And Winston ended up getting sick, which that could be a quid, uh, uh, you know, just a accident or whatever. But I just was like, I told Luke, I was like, it's just funny how he was having that, you know, for months. He'd been fine, not getting sick. And then we go two weeks without it and he gets an ear infection and, um, you know, all that. So, we bought it. We're going to be giving it to him again. Um, we we only did every other day for him. Um, 
but this is just, I love this stuff now. <laughs> Got some more laundry detergent. We love using um, the member marks, members mark brand of the laundry detergent. This one is the one that's compared to Gain. Y'all already know, this is our favorite American processed cheese. Favorite, favorite. Um, way better deal than buying the fields. Before we got a membership, we would always buy the fields, which is 72 slices, and it was like $13 at Kroger for 72 slices. And this is $12.98 for 120 slices. So, and it lasts us about two to three weeks, depending on what we use it for. Now, here, when, when it starts getting colder, we'll use it more, of course, because we have more soup. We'll do more grilled cheese, um, but way better deal, I'm telling y'all. Y'all already know. My cheese dip, I love this stuff. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. I had to have this to go on off for our taco night. Um, but y'all already know how much I love this stuff. I've had people comment saying that they tried it. They love it. If you have not tried it, try it. If you like cheese dip, give this one a try because it is so freaking delicious. We got the world's biggest container of fake butter. I know it's fake. It's all right. Y'all get over it. Um, we do use real butter as well. But we um, were out, so we just picked up this big one. And it was like four bucks. Four bucks for this massive thing of fake butter. And it says that it's five pounds. So that will last us probably a few months, to be honest. And then I got my favorite thing of Pillsbury Grands. I shared a smaller bag of these in a regular grocery haul um, from Kroger, talking about how I've heard a lot of people talk about how they don't like canned biscuits, but they don't want to take the time and make homemade. Try these. These taste like homemade. They're amazing. They keep, they stay in the freezer. They go straight from the oven, um, from the freezer. They take like 20, 20, 25 minutes to bake from frozen and they're delicious. They taste just like homemade. We really like the buttermilk ones. They're so good. This was like five. Let me see. This was five ninety eight for 38 biscuits. And then, y'all, look. This was one of the other things Luke was making fun of me <laughs> with it being Halloween. I was like, honey, we have to get this. I might have just got them for me, but I'm going to have to share with Winston, of course. <laughs> but I already tried one, and they are really, really good. It does say limited time only, so they might um, just do it through the holidays or... What's out is what's out. So make sure to run to your sands. See if y'all can find them because they're so cute. I love anything. Um, Count Chocula, the Boo Berry, Frankenberry right now. So, but that is everything here. We'll run out in the garage and I will show you the drinks that we got. Okay. So the last two things for the Sam's haul was some Powerade. This come with um, eight fruit punch, eight mountain berry, and eight grape. And then, of course, y'all already know the case of L8. So, the L8 was $11.98, um, which is typical. Um, even if you buy it at Kroger, um, it might be a couple cents um, cheaper at Sam's. Um, but he goes through it, I'm telling y'all. And then the Powerade was $10.88. So, and I don't, we don't buy like singles a lot, so I can't really compare prices, but if you, if you know, then you know, but that is it. So in total, we spent $117.58. So that was our Santa. Okay, y'all, so excuse the mess, but I wanted to add this into this video because we've really been enjoying these circle, um, we have really been enjoying the circle in general. The water bottles, the sips, um, all of it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Y'all know I'm always honest with you. And I really try to review stuff that I think that I think or know our family is gonna like and enjoy. And this is definitely one of them. <laughs> Luke was jealous um that they sent Winston a bottle, which I thought was so stinking cute that they sent him a bottle. They did send us both little koozies. Um to go on them. I'll have to get them. I don't have it on right now because I'm painting and so I didn't want 
me to get paint on the um, the koozie itself, so I took mine off. But um, so for the adult size, it's like 22 ounces, um, and then they have the kids one as well. And like I said, they have they do have koozies, which is an option. And y'all, they just released their um, insulated cup, which I'm so freaking excited about because that was my one complaint. Um, after reviewing these for this past week, that was my one complaint. I really wish that it would just stay colder. And so, and then, uh, on their Instagram, they released their new insulated cup, um, bottle. And so I was like, yes. So I'm all about it now. Um, and so what this does is this comes out. Let me try to do this with one hand. Um, so this is the sip part. So this is what comes out and this is what has the flavoring in it. And then you can just change it out when you're done. And so one of these sips does um, like 10 of these uh, smaller 12 ounce bottles or it does six of the larger bottles. Um, and so I've got the peach mango in right now and it's really good. And then he has, I think this is strawberry kiwi. Um, but we both really like the fruit punch and we both really like the mixed berry. This is perfect for me to take to work because y'all know that I take drinks and stuff to work. And this is just perfect to have, you know, on the go and it has the flavoring in it. And I feel so much better um, knowing that because like it says on the packaging and all that, that it's all natural flavoring and, and all that stuff. And I drank like I went through one sip, so I drank six bottles of this the first day that I took it to work. So I was up peeing all night, but I drank a ton of water, so that was even better. Um, so I'll have their link in the description box with everything so y'all can try it out. Um, I freaking love them. I'll be totally honest. I love them. And Winston has been drinking a ton of water as well, so that's really good because he's not a huge water drinker. So, this is perfect for kids. Um, he, like I said, he really likes the fruit punch and the mixed berry. He would just come up to the fridge and he would just keep refilling his bottle all day long. And I'm like, yes. So, that made me excited that, uh, you know, he was wanting to drink water. And that's easy because he can do it himself except for, you know, us changing out the sips. So, let me. I'm painting the kitchen, y'all. So, that's why the kitchen's a mess. So here's what some of the um, the sips look like. So they've got different ones. They have life. They have fit. They have um, they have got brew ones. They've got teas. Like they have all kinds. And so and all of them have vitamins in them. Some of them have electrolytes. So it just depends on which one that you get. Um, but they're all on their website. They have like over 40 different flavors that you can choose from. Um, and so, so far, all the ones that we have tried are really good. They're very flavorful. Um, and so, this is what I have left. I've got the sweet tea and lemon left. And then I have another one of the fruit punch. So, but we have used the heck out of these. The heck out of these. And so, another awesome thing that I like. I'm going to show you on this one since it's not unscrewed. Um, and so, this right here is a guide you can either do it this way for more water or this way for more flavoring so you can adjust the amount of flavoring that you want like i have it on five i normally keep it on four or five four is the suggested um, amount but i like mine a little stronger um but that's the best part about that is because you can adjust how much you want um and so the numbers go up i think to like six i don't even know six or seven yeah it goes up to seven so you can change it and adjust how much flavoring versus water you want, which is a freaking awesome. And then this little thing pops off. My hands are getting wet. Um, so that pops off. That's gonna release where you drink it from. And then, so it's not like all in your face, cause look, that would be so annoying if that was just right there in your face while you're trying to drink it. You take and you press it down and it tucks up under that fin. And so it is away from your mouth when you are trying to drink it. I love that, <laughs> love that thing. Um, and Winston does too, because you know he's like, "That's that's all annoying." And I'm like, "Look, you got to tuck it in and and kind of hide it, and so that way it's out of the way." So we love them. Like I said, everything will be in the description box below. Make sure y'all go check out Circle. 
They are awesome. Um, I love it. I love it. I'm so glad they reached out to me. So thank you to Circle for reaching out to me and sending us this free product, um, free products to review. My family love them. We will definitely be purchasing, purchasing some on our own. Okie dokie. Also, here is our meal plan. Super basic. Um, we have got taco salads for one day this week. I wanted to do um, a chicken bacon ranch, um, like cauliflower casserole. It's, technically, it's like one of those low carb keto meals, but we had it whenever um, we were on a diet like last year, and it was really good. And so I was like, let's just make it. I mean, we don't you don't have to be on a diet to like a low carb meal. So I'm gonna do that again. We've got some fish, and the um, mahi mahi is what we um, have. And then we're good. we've got frozen pizzas, as y'all seen in the grocery haul. That was such a good deal. And then we've got some ribeye steaks that we're going to pull out of the freezer. So, and we have sides and all that here. Now, since we got canned goods and all that. So, of course, y'all will see everything that we eat in um, Sunday's What's for Dinner. So, I hope you all enjoyed this grocery haul and meal plan. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Please comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you all later. Bye, guys. Bye.